everybody, Sponge Murphy here coming to you from the Hobby Shed. And in this Hobby Journal video, I have been rebasing my scaven zombies. Okay, everybody, so in the last Hobby uh, Journal video, I recently got some 25mm round bases off eBay, or maybe it was an eBay loot video, sorry. Um, and I got these MDF 25mm. I'm pretty sure it's three millimeter thick bases and I think I got like 50, 50 of them and the main thing for these was to get all my scaven rebased well all the clan rats anyway for now and if you guys remember I have the scaven zombie unit there's like roughly about 15 of these I think in it so I've been working on them today now I did have like one or two of them already on the GW plastic bases but they're just too hard and too expensive to come by. So I had three of them. Let me just zoom over here so I can get everything in. I did have three of them already done. And I had the leader of the unit. Kind of like the undead. The zombie warlord guy. I had him already on a round base as well. That's also on a 25mm base. But today I've been working on these ones. Now I'm super happy on how these turned out. Um, the base color looks really good, and I really wasn't going for. Oh, there's not even a frame. I wasn't really going for anything in particular, like any kind of color team for the base running. I just wanted to kind of. I did want a gray, kind of dark one, but I haven't got any of the new grays. I have a few of the old ones, and I don't want to start using them too much, too much of the old ones in case I want to do a tutorial on it. But these turned out really happy. What I did was, um. I sprayed them grey, that's the grey I use, that's the primer I use now, so I primed them in the, with a the grey spray, a ghrelin art, then Zandri dust, and then for the shade over I went, oh obviously the, the cork on the base, that's what that is there, kind of a little bit of an important part I missed, I, 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 oh, I, can't even talk. I left out there, um, so I put a ghrelin art on it first, let that dry, that lets it all crack up, then I went over with Zandri dust for a base, Reichlin Flesh Shade, that was the shade I went over it. Um, I didn't want it to be too dark, so I think that was just right, and it did, it worked really well. And then finally, I just shopped the Bone Dry Brush on it. Um, and I'm really happy how these guys turned out. I think the, the best thing Age of Sigmar did was go to round bases, because each model, it really helps each model stand out. Instead of just being lost in a rank and file. I, I like the rank and file. Especially when you did like a unifiller. A unifiller. Because you could get really creative with that. It was kind of cool. But. These look so much better on the round bases. Yeah I'm really happy with the colour. Kind of cracked. Kind of really light brown. Art colour. Um. You know, compared to the bases I did have them on, it was basically just like a brown paint job on it with some of that Nurgle rot on it, and it looked terrible. Um, and they were on slaughter bases as well, so I had to cut them off the... I didn't have to cut them, but I had to cut like the slaughter part off the bottom of the feet off, across there, and then I glued them in. So, I'm really happy. I, I said it like a million times this, but... Round bases look so much better than square bases in Age of Sigmar. It really does look incredible. So I have... I'm not going to rebase these ones. They're already on rounds. Like they're not on the MDF ones, but... I'm going to leave them to the yard. It doesn't match the, the colour of the bases, but... I'm not going to change it. Maybe I could do this guy because he's going to be way easier to get off the base. Well, if they would just pop off this rock part here. Um, Maybe. But then all I have left is three and the whole unit will be finished on round. So kind of a rare thing to see a whole unit finally complete. But that's my hobby journal for today. Um, definitely if you can get some MDF bases off eBay. Get the GW round bases even if you want. And get your Age of Sigmar models onto round bases. Because after looking at these and after finishing this I was thinking. Like a warband is going to look amazing on round bases and you're going to be you, you can really invest on an individual model um, and make them stick out especially with the base you can like 
make the base like up higher and it doesn't have you don't have to worry about rank and file and everything but i'm really happy how these turned out i think maybe i could put oh no i can't oh no i could if i had him as a warlord model i could put him on a bigger round base maybe uh let me think a 32 millimeter one i think that one might be a little bit better for this guy i'll try to see if i have a spare round 32 millimeter i don't know maybe that that's about the same thickness I don't know. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Hopefully, and oh my god, he is stuck. Hopefully, this inspires you to get your models onto round bases. Um, because it's it's it looks so much nicer, and I am definitely going to be trying to get more of my models onto round bases now. And these MDF bases are incredibly cheap on eBay. I got like fifty. It was meant to be fifty, but I got fifty six of them for I think like under five euro, including delivery from England. So. That was, that was nothing to be honest for 56 bases. But anyway, hopefully you guys like this. Hopefully it inspired you to get all your models on the round bases. I know it definitely has got me going for it. I'm going to try and finish all these off now very, very shortly. But if you liked it, make sure to hit the like button, comment and subscribe. And once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next video.